So I've added an extra support to the hive. Um, although it seemed to be tilting backwards a little bit. It was resting on the branch of the tree, which I didn't like, because it meant as the tree blew in the wind, it also moved the hive. So I've got it off of that branch by about an inch. If it gets too bad, then I'll cut the branch off. But I couldn't figure out what these little bits were sticking out the bottom of the hive. Because when we transferred the frames over, I made sure that I removed all of the sticks out of the hive. And it looked to me like they dragged loads of uh, small stems back into the hive. I don't know if this camera will pick it up. There you go. So it wasn't until I come and looked at the front of the hive looks like spaghetti coming out I realised it's the elastic bands that we fixed their honeycomb into the frames with they've chewed through the bands and they're trying to remove them from the hive Makes you wonder how people can be so scared of bees. So they just seem to relax me. <laughs> Five weeks and we should have them in the correct position. I'm going to make another platform to go here. So that'll be next week. Then a week down to there. That'll be two weeks week down to the floor would be three weeks this position four weeks and that position five weeks I need to make up a, a hive stand that will take two hives so I just happen to have another one of those hives in the attic that's not made up yet so I might as well bring it down I'm not saying that I'm going to have five hives down here of course we know that beekeepers don't like getting that many hives laugh out loud these girls are just so busy I had a quick look earlier the amount of pollen that's going in and out of this one look <laughs> at that taking a leaf away The other hive doesn't look as good. Hardly any bees coming in and out of that one. Although they are, the, the odd one or two bees that are going in and out of that one are taking in pollen. So we won't start worrying. We'll wait till next year. This one, loads of pollen going in. As I say, this one doesn't seem to have that many bees coming in and out of it. Just the odd few now and again. But it's a bit windy and a bit cold today. I'm not going to start opening it up and looking. I 
perhaps later on in the week if we get another nice day. We know that this one is Queen Wonnet. We're not too sure about this one, but I would imagine it is. For the simple reason being, I think that hive up there are the bees that swarmed out of it. So that would have been a good five or six months ago. If they didn't have a queen, this hive would be dead already. I'm not too sure if this hive has got a queen. Again, I need to check, see if there's any fresh eggs in there. But we've got enough bees here to sort of mix and match. So if the hive up the end there doesn't have a queen, I'd move what few bees are in this one. If they didn't, if they had a queen, I'd join these two together, or this one and this one together, and make some really strong colonies to go into winter. But of course, we'd get them out of the Landscroft into the National or into the National Hybrid. I think my days of the flow hive are been and gone. I much prefer the old fashioned method doing cut comb and spinning the honey. October and we've still got pollen going in. <laughs> See you later from the Secret Bee Garden.